Hi everyone, it's Miss Jessica, and this is Jimmy Zhang Wow. And today, I'm gonna share a silly, tasty, imaginative adventure story with you. It's called Jimmy Zhang Wow's Out of This World Moon Pie Adventure. The author is Tony D. Terlizzi, and he's also the illustrator. So that means he wrote the words and drew the pictures. Jimmy Zhang Wow loves his moon pies. His mom holds the key to the moon pie stash though, and she says no treats before dinner. If only Jimmy could fly to the moon to get his own moon pies. Hmm. How far would you go to get your favorite snack? Oh, look at this picture. It looks like a plan. And at the top it says, my spaceship. I wonder what he's gonna do with it. Hmm, what do you notice about this picture? One Tuesday afternoon, Jimmy Zhang Wow asked his mom, can I please have some milk and a moon pie? Of course not, his mom replied. You'll ruin dinner. Now run outside and play. Oh man, Jimmy muttered as he stomped out his back door and climbed aboard his secret project. I wish I could go to the moon and get my own moon pies, but this junk jumbly jalopy will never fly. With that, the jalopy shook. It rattled. It battled to get off the ground. Holy macaroni, Jimmy cried as he shut his eyes tight and the jalopy rocketed up, up, and out of this world. When Jimmy opened his eyes, he was high above the earth. Wow, I've never been this far from home. And he wondered if he could find his way back in time for dinner. His stomach rumbled. Up ahead loomed the slumbering moon. Mmm, moon pies. When Jimmy was close enough to the great moon pie maker in the sky, he roped him and climbed out of his jalopy. Mr. Moon, can I please have some moon pies? Opening one eye, the old moon spoke. What? You want french fries? Don't have any. Moon pies, shouted Jimmy. Fruit flies? Never seen one. No, Mr. Moon, I would like some moon pies. Well, you don't have to yell, said the moon. I'm not hard of hearing, you know, just a bit of cheese in my ears. Jimmy took a deep breath and started again. <sighs> Mr. Moon, can I please have some moon pies? The moon gave Jimmy a long, thoughtful Oh, of course you can, he said, and gave Jimmy 1,000 moon pies. Gadzooks, a whole year's supply. But then Jimmy realized that he didn't bring the one thing that goes with moon pies. Oh, I sure wish I had some milk. What? Milk? replied the sleepish moon. Oh, no milk since the cow's left. The cow? What cow? The cow. You know, that jumped over me used to fly by all the time delivering milk. Delivering milk to where? Jimmy asked. The Milky Way, of course. The Grimble Grinder must have frightened her off. You had best watch out for that one. But Jimmy had already sped off. Uh-oh, Jimmy didn't hear him warn about the Grimble Grinder. I wonder what it is. Let's find out. In the Milky Way, Jimmy found gallons and quarts and pints of milk. He pulled out his net and was scooping up as much frosty, frothy stuff as he could when he heard the grumble. Rumble, grumble. Grumble, rumble. The grumble was so loud that it flipped the jalopy and sent Jimmy his milk and all 1,000 moon pies tumbling straight down. To Mars, 
where Jimmy landed in a crowd of Mars men. It's raining milk, they called out together. It's snowing moon pies. We want moon pies. Oh no, Jimmy sighed. How many of you are there? 999. 999? That only leaves one for me. But then he saw all those hungry little Mars men's eyes and he knew there wasn't any other way. All right, I'll share. And the Martian milk and moon pie feast began. But before anyone could even take a bite, they heard rumble, grumble, grumble, rumble. All 999 Mars men froze and the ground shook as the sound bounded forward. Rumble, grumble, grumble, rumble. Jumping June bugs, what in the world is that? Jimmy asked. It's the great Grimble Grinder, the Mars men exclaimed. The big bellied beast roared and growled. Rumble, grumble, grumble, rumble. He will eat us, cried the Mars men. We're tasty little nuggets in his gigantic eyes. Eat us, Jimmy said. He can't do that. I'll miss my supper. He had to do something. But what? Rumble, grumble, grumble, rumble. Jimmy looked down at his hands. Well, if you got to eat something, he said, eat this. And he held out the bottle of milk and his very last moon pie. Grabbing the milk and the moon pie, the Grimble Grinder gobbled it up and he belched loud. <laughs> then that giant monster smiled and spoke. Thank you, thank you. That was just what I needed. I was so hungry for so long that my belly rumbled and grumbled and growled. When I tried to ask for food, it spoke louder than I did, and it frightened everyone away. You mean you don't want to eat us, says Jimmy? Oh, goodness gracious, no, I just wanted a moon pie. Hearing this, the Mars men cheered. Zip, pip, caboodle, zip, pip, caboodle. Jimmy saying, wow, has saved the day. Zip, pip, caboodle. But now... Jimmy's stomach rumbled. He was starving. He looked at his watch. Six past, I'm gonna be late for dinner. And the jalopy was all crashed up and smashed. I'll never get home now, groaned Jimmy. Yes, you will. We will help you, said the Mars men. And just like that, the Mars men gathered up all of the moon pie wrappers and stitched them together to make a giant moon pie wrapper balloon. Now what? Jimmy asked. To make it work, we would need hot air. His watch read a quarter past. One of the Mars men spoke up. I have an idea, Mr. Grimble. If you could. No problem, but I'll need another moon pie, replied the Grimble. All 999 Mars men shouted, take mine. The Grimble grinder gobbled up every single moon pie. Then he seized the balloon opened his mouth wide and <coughs> he burped so hard that moon pies blew out of his ears and landed miles away. Before they knew it, the moon pie wrapper balloon was flying high. I'll come back soon, Jimmy promised as he soared over the crowd and waved goodbye to 999 Marsmen and the Grimble Grinder too. He flew through the Milky Way and he floated past old Mr. Moon and he landed in his backyard just in time to hear his mom call, Jimmy, dinner. Jimmy was so hungry that he ate up every last bit, even though it was Brussels sprout noodle bean casserole. And when he was done, he got a moon pie for dessert. The end. So what did you think about Jimmy's adventure? Have you ever used your imagination to go on an adventure like Jimmy's? We would all really like to hear about them. Maybe you could share your ideas on Seesaw with your teachers. I hope you enjoyed this adventurous story and it inspires you to use your imagination. See you next time. <laughs>